So this is one of those blood boiling stories. I'm going to I'm going to hand it off to you guys. But I want to just say one thing. My how far the leadership of that department has fallen from the statesman that led it at the beginning of the Trump administration, Jim Mattis. Claire. Yeah, I spent um, 12 years on the Armed Services Committee in the United States Senate. It was an oasis of bipartisanship. Uh, the leadership of the military was professional and nonpartisan. It was about the mission. It was never about the politics of the president. And watching what has happened, whether it is the pardoning of someone who had engaged in conduct that Navy SEALs came forward against a fellow Navy SEAL, unheard of, and then Trump puts him out on the campaign trail. Uh, the idea this guy would travel 8,000 miles to tell these sailors that the commander who went to the mat for them was stupid and then worked in a slam on both the media and Joe Biden in the same speech. And he wanted to say that he got rid of the commander because of his judgment. Woefully terrible judgment. And I am so glad that he has gone quickly. But don't mistake this. There is turmoil at the, at the Department of the Navy right now. Uh, there is a mm -hmm. real schism between the civilian leadership and the military leadership in the military and is mostly mm -hmm. because of the temper tantrums and the compulsiveness and the inappropriate behavior of the commander in chief. Michael Steele, is it time for Jim Mattis to speak up and speak out? We know he saw things he didn't write about in his book. We know he feels things. There's tape that surfaced during his leadership of the Pentagon of him talking to um, men and women of the military saying we're going through a tough time in our country. He is not uninterested in protecting the morale of the men and women who serve this country. Is it time for him to say something? It is, but he won't. Um, so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't spend too much time uh, hoping and waiting for that to happen, because there's been enough uh, time since uh, Secretary Mattis was in the job and the present moment for him to speak uh, on those points. There have been enough events. There's been enough um, Trumpism that's been out there for the secretary to address his own perspectives and inside knowledge of what's really going on, uh, you know, in departments like. Uh, the Pentagon and, and certainly uh, in the uh, military departments like the Navy and Air Force, et cetera. So I think the expectation for us now is to sort of take this this episode uh, in the ongoing, uh, you know, reality TV drama of the White House um, and, and categorize it appropriately and just get ready to play it all back for November, because that's ultimately, Nicole, where we wind up here. The American people have to make their own assessment of these matters. So it doesn't almost matter uh, anymore what these other players are saying who haven't said anything up to this point. Now coming mm -hmm. out and saying, we'll just only affirm or not confirm what, what people feel. So that leaves it still on us to decide whether or not um, the individual in the, in the White House is fit to be there for another term, is fit to be there to manage uh, uh, the crises that lie ahead. We're in this one now, so we just got to deal with this. Alarm bells going off, states don't have tests, and people, are, you know, states are bargaining with each other, with each other to get, uh, you know, masks and stuff. Okay, we're here now for that. But that, again, is all part of a narrative for what will come in the next few months uh, for, the, for the voters and the American people to decide exactly what their final judgment will be. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.